Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A ball of mass 200 gram rest on a vertical post of height 20 meter a bullet of mass 10 gram traveling in horizontal direction hits the center of the ball after collision both travels independently the ball hits the ground at a distance of 30 meter and the bullet of a distance of 120 meter from the foot of the post the value of initial velocity of the bullet will be if g equal to 10 meter per second here we have given four options option a 60 meter per second option b 400 meter per second option c 360 meter per second and option d 120 meter per second this question is based on laws of conservation of momentum and projectile motion okay and what says the question here we have given a vertical post its height is 20 meter a ball is kept over it and a bullet hits this ball and after collide it fall 30 meter away from the vertical post this ball and bullet falls 120 meter away from the post vertical post okay because both objects falls independently it means separate velocity okay now let's say uh, initial velocity of the bullet before hitting this ball is considered u and after hitting this ball is fall down and so velocity become v1 and the speed or velocity of this bullet become v2 here the time of flight for both the objects remains same because it is only depend on uh, 2h by g so therefore h is constant vertical height of this tower and g is fixed okay so therefore time of flight for both the objects remain same and here this ball is falling down and nears to the 30 meter away from this uh, vertical post and this uh, bullet falls at 120 meter from this vertical post okay i have redrawn this diagram because it is taken more space and for our convenient here let us first we have to find out v1 v1 means uh, speed or velocity of this ball after hitting this uh, bullet at the center to this ball so here the range is given that is uh, 30 so r1 is equal to v1 and time of flight 2h by g so here r1 is given that is 30 v1 we have to find out and 2 what is h high uh, h is height of tower that is 20 and uh, g is given that in question 10 meter per second square so here 10 so 30 is equal to v1 2 to the 4 and root 4 that is 2 then v1 equal to 30 by 2 that is 15 meter per second and similarly we have to find out the final velocity of this bullet range is given r2 that is 120 v2 to h by g and uh, time of flight we have already find out 2 second so 2 then v2 is equal to 60 meter per second this is the uh, velocity of this bullet after collision now using laws of conservation of uh, momentum initial momentum that is uh, m u is equal to here the mass of this uh, ball capital M velocity V1 and M 
V2. So here mass of the bullet is given 10 gram. So 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3. You have we have to find out the initial velocity. You put as it is. Mass of ball is given 200 gram. So 200 into 10 raised to power minus 3. And uh, velocity of this ball is given 15. Again, the mass of the bullet is 10 gram. And velocity is uh, 60 meter per second. Okay. So 10 into 10 raised to power minus 3. U, 10 raised to power minus 3, get common. 200 into 15 and uh, here 600 10 raised to power minus 3 get common and cancel out. 10 u is equal to 15 to the 30 and 2 0 600 and 10 u is equal to 3600 then u equal to 3600 divided by 10. So, initial velocity of the bullet 360 meter per second. So, it is the correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.